At any one moment, there are hundreds of people who perform in the subways of New York to entertain, build a career and make ends meet. In 2018, I shot this film with Vince Alvarado, who documents these musicians to uncover some of the best busking spots and talents to see why they choose to perform underground. I think one of the most unique things about uh, New York City in general, and especially the subway system, it has always 24 hours. I mean, you go to other cities and they usually shut down, whether it's 11 o'clock, midnight, or sometimes they don't even go for a certain amount of hours. But New York City, the trains are always running, meaning you really never know what you're gonna get. And I think that's what makes it such a cool place for musicians to perform, because they always have an avenue, they always have a place to express themselves. And since there's so many people going back and forth, um, there's always an audience. There's so much activity going on in New York City and I feel like everyone's such in a rush, everyone has places to go. They kind of tune out and zone out these musicians and these artists. So I figured why not give them a platform that they might not have so people can actually tune in. Everyone's on their cell phones, everyone's on social media. Why not give these guys a voice because frankly they deserve it. Online mid-range. My name's Roger Green, a.k.a. Roger G, G-Man. You know, I've been doing this since I was six years old. I'm 60 now. It's not easy to come out here and do your thing and be successful because you got a lot of distractions. You got the trains, the noise. You got the hecklers, the people. You got people that's tight with money. They selfish. <laughs> and then you got people that show love. So it's, it's a very thing. You got to be able, you got to be a soldier down here. Do your thing, get your radio, Get your music, whatever you do, just make sure it's positive. My name is Gabriel Mayers. Uh, I think because uh, New York itself is one big stage, you can go out 24 hours a day, there's always people milling around. So, uh, I mean, you can, you can play 24 hours a day here, that's the difference. It can be um, educational, to say the least. Uh, definitely it can be a bit rough sometimes, but mostly it's just fun times with new people. <laughs> Type of music we play, like, it starts off with the blues, it becomes funky, it morphs into rock and roll. Some, you know, outside jazz, inside jazz, it's whatever we feel. And, you know, playing with accomplished musicians, they can go anywhere. So it's like, it's, it's fun. Jr. I'm a soul violinist. I'm originally from Chicago. I just moved from Los Angeles. New York is the place to be, man. If you got a little talent and you have the, the boldness and the confidence to come out here and just perform for the masses as they are walking and going and doing their thing and living their lives, I know that what I do is uh, it's, it's like being a doctor. The music is the cure. That's what I believe. So if anybody is in need, they just come over here and get it. It's free with the CD 10 bucks, you feel me? <laughs> I love busking, uh, and especially busking in New York because to have a group of New Yorkers actually stop, stand still, clap, support you, you know, it, it means the world to me. So, I mean, I'm very appreciative of the ability to even come and, and openly express myself in this space here in New York. But uh, aside from that, I mean, it's just, it's a beautiful time just being in front of people. So, you know, this is my stage for now until, you know, move on up. <laughs> So, again, with the train system, everything is so random. You have no idea where you're going to run into, but that's what makes documenting musicians so gratifying. The fact that you'll have someone playing an instrument you never heard of. You have people dancing and doing all sorts of things. And I think with New York and it being the way it is, it's just one of the best things to do. And even as a, as a commuter, you know, you could go to stop to stop, and you're always going to find something new and something that's going to pique your interest. You just got to walk around and just listen. I found some incredible talent in the New York subway. 
They play to make money, garner a career, but ultimately, they make a simple train journey more cinematic, thoughtful, and enjoyable. Such an easy game to play 